Next, it will seem this turn to project some common sort of energy while on the walk. The dog is already sensing the energy that is holding the leash, okay? Mm -hmm. But, and that's why she has to work a little hard in being that energy. Mm -hmm. She can be uh, that loving energy right now. I'm not saying not to share love, mm -hmm. right? I'm saying to share authority figure. Mm -hmm. So as you see right now, she's already pulling back. Mm -hmm. So regardless of what color are you using, there we go. It's not gonna work. So, all right, so stay with me right here. Okay, about myself I learned and it's something that I already know is that I do tend to be more submissive and and not take control of a situation where I'll let things happen like in a victim sort of situation there you go remember before how she was behaving here mm -hmm. hey but this is to me the wrong way of trying to help a dog to calm down this see it it creates this automatically if you put to the side they get out of balance so whatever they're going through in their mind goes away for that second but at that second you have gained control of the brain Mm -hmm. See, we don't have any time yeah. to think about it. Yeah. The closer we get to that environment, the more we accomplish rehabilitation. Now we're going to get close. This is one of her hardest areas for her to work on. This house right here. I can touch you with my feet, not to kick you, mm -hmm. but just, hey, just you're not like paying hey. attention to me. Mm -hmm. So right now, we are making the mind practice a different exercise, which mm -hmm. it drains the mind much more mm -hmm. than the way you were doing it earlier. Mm -hmm. The other way only creates neurotic, aggressive dog. Uh -huh. This way creates calm, submissive state of mind dog. Mm -hmm. Look, nice, this is good. Just. Uh -huh. We're creating this. We are telling this dog to stop barking because we are projecting wonderful energy. Here's what happened when I turned the leech over to the Louisies. That's right. Uh, he's still in front of you. He's still in front of you. That's right. That's better. Relax the arm. You can make him sit down if you want. Sit. Sit. That's right. <laughs> nope. Correct, correct, correct. No. Yeah. Sit. Come on, come on. Get, get into this state. Get into this state. Sit. Sit. Don't give up. You're still in the exercise. You got to do the exercise. Sit, Harley. Got to do the exercise. Keep All right. Come on. All right. Come on. Okay, come back again. Sit. That's Good boy. Right. That's better. Good boy. You don't have to reward. No. All right? Don't reward. And the reason is this. You're not doing dog training, you're training human. You're rehabilitating dog. Okay? okay? Now dog training is all about sit, good boy, down, good boy. But if you study the, the situation, you're going to feel a lot of excitement. Sit, stay, good boy. So if you notice, I control your dog without sound. And I get a faster and better result that you're doing sit, good boy. Gotcha. I believe that it's very important to visualize what you want to happen. That you can visualize what you want to create with your dog. Look, do manipulation right away. I just wonder if he'll do it for me. Right here. Well, that's the thing. You can't, you can't start thinking that he's not going to do it for you. Then he will. Then you're Sense already pu pulling yourself as a failure. Mm -hmm. Imagine if I come to every consultation, I say, I don't know if I'm going to be able to rehabilitate this dog. Mm -hmm. They will pick up on it. Failing is not an option, right? Because if I fail mentally, if I feel that I'm not going to be able to do it, it goes right through the leash. Mm -hmm. 
So how good as a handler am I if I'm already thinking I'm going to fail? Mm -hmm. Right? Not very good. Right. It's like I said, it's already in my mind how she's going to walk, even though we're not even really going to that area that, that I'm, that I'm going to take her. So all this uh, creation is done in the mind of a human before it's reality. No different from a movie. You're going to open the door without the leash? That's right. What, the front door? The front door. Without the leash? Without the leash. If he runs out, we'll never get him. Us, I get it back. But in my mind, he's not going to go through it. Because after this, see, after this, this is this is surrendering mode. I, I, you know, and you can be from far away just for you to to observe that it's possible. But he's ready to do that exercise. So again, see, you're living in the past. I'm living in the now. Right. Or you are living in the future, and I'm living in the now. So if you live in the past or the future, you're not going to give him the opportunity to ever, ever accomplish 100% a dog that you trust and respect. I trust him right now, even though he wanted to eat me in the beginning. <laughs> See it? All because he surrendered to me. All right, so we want him to experience this here. So if you can be like a statue here. There you go. Just leave it open. See the difference? Mm -hmm. I'm claiming this door. This person that is coming through the door is mine. It can be your friend, but in your mind is yours. Because that's what they get. Look how he walks in my space. Cushion. With respect. See the difference? Mm -hmm. Now, remember what you said with the door open? I off the thought leash. for sure he'd be out that door. That's right. So you see, that was in your mind only. Not in his. Not in his. The magic today, hope, is that you guys understand that you dog don't respect you. Right. See it? It's not that he can't perform. It's not that he can't understand rules boundaries, limitations. It's not that he can't live in the now. It's that you guys got a clear vision that your dog does not respect you. Just passing by, and you don't even have to get close to the house. Okay. Just the fact that she's not pulling you towards the house, mm -hmm. that's good enough. Yeah. Step by step, everything. You know, you learn your ABCs step by step. Mm -hmm. But you're already pulling back. Uh, you're already pulling I know. back. I'm like, I'm getting <laughs> yeah. <nervous. laughs> yeah. But why? Nothing bad is happening. Yeah, why? Come on, happening. talk to me. Why are you getting nervous? Nothing oh, bad is happening. Oh, I've just, you know, I'm afraid. You know, the, the failure thing, it's the, the, you know, I I tend to be feel in control of her, but then I, I just, from my own conditioning with this situation... You just I, passed! <laughs> <laughs> go for it again, come on, do it again. What? Turn around, turn around, a little bit more sorry, turn around and go. Okay. Yeah. There you go. You just passed right there. Right on. Because you were not paying attention to your failing. Right. Without... Um, See, that's, that's the amazing thing. Sometimes oh, oh. people spend a lot of time talking to their dogs, but they really should be talking to themselves. Everyone loves to give affection to their dogs, even me. I love to give affection to my dogs, but only at the right time. Affection isn't just hugs and kisses. Affection is playtime. Affection is the dog part. It's important to know when and how to give affection to a dog. See, look at this. This is really good. Because he, this is very typical. That when a pack leader comes towards them, they lower the head. 
Absolutely. There you go. This is good. Then I can give affection for him giving me that state of mind. Are you with me? But I, I didn't try to give affection to accomplish this. Right. I give body, right. mind, then affection. Gotcha. And who you were being all this time is affection, affection. body, no mind. You can have an emotional connection with them when they're balanced. Mm -hmm. But you were having an emotional connection when she was out of balance. Right. You have to be able to have the body, the mind, and the heart right now. I have a great time walking with her. Mm -hmm. My three entities are here. Mm -hmm. Before, you were only heart and body. Mm -hmm. So you can be dragged all over the place and she won't care. This is when you give affection. You can shower all, all the affection you want. You can pour your heart on, on him right now. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he's at the highest level of calm submission. Most of the people share affection when the mind is excited, when the mind is aggressive, when the mind is tense, when the mind is fearful, when the mind is panicky. When the mind is unstable, people unfortunately have a tendency to share affection to calm the mind down. But that only intensifies the behavior. That only, that only says, I agree with that behavior. Set rules, boundaries, limitations before you share your affection. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because that, that works with mm -hmm. humans as well. Mm -hmm. hmm. Let's see what the owners have learned and let's see what everyone can learn from these stories. Nice to meet you. Nice. He's disrespecting us basically and, and, and he's taking full control of the house and we're going to change that. Let's go all over again. Um, just whenever she crosses over those boundaries, just keep keep reinforcing that. That when I'm disciplining her or she's doing something wrong, that I um, do it in a slow, from the gut, simple words, um, not fast movements, not spurting out energy, which that's what I generally do. This is typical. <laughs> He uh, was really stressing to be confident with the dog and to just assert that type of energy. We try to let him know we mean business. Don't laugh. Um, let him know it's you know, not a game, know. basically. Right. It's not a game to us. It's not to acceptable it's behavior anymore. So there's no tension on the leash, as you notice. It was amazing to see how fast he changed. Amazing. You were calm and tense. Mm -hmm. So, and a pack of dogs, that energy doesn't control. That confused me. I, if the dog is next to me, how does he know what my posture is? But it, it did seem to work. And the energy that we were, we were letting off to the dog was, you can do whatever you want and we're just going to scream at you. At the moment I give you the leash, you go into that position. Yeah. You should be straight. That was a, a mind-opening experience. Assertive behavior. Yeah. Power of the mind. The power of the mind. <laughs> And she's certainly picking up when I have my negative energy and get away from me and, and when she doesn't walk and I get mad and I come back. I mean, I know she knows that it's bad. Here are the lessons I hope you take with you. Be your dog's pack leader every day. A pack leader sets rules, boundaries, and limitations. I just creating a boundary. A pack leader can control a pack through the proper use of energy and body language. A pack leader projects calm assertive energy 
to the pack. A pack leader walks in front. A pack leader walks with the pack every day. I recommend at least a 45 minute walk in the morning. Feeding the dog after the walk, not before. That's how they get fit. <laughs> I am Cesar Milan. Thanks for joining me. I hope I have been able to help you on your path to mastering leadership. Let's pretend this is a filet mignon. That's right. Mm. That you can do that with a filet mignon in front. That teaches her not to touch food that has belonged to pack leader. So a pack leader would have come. Uh, everybody stay away from that. So what I did right now was the way we growl. <laughs> <You know? coughs> We don't growl, but we do other sounds that can be transferred into a growling moment. Our timing was really good. Our energy was really good. So she's right there cooperating with the exercise. So what, I, what I'm here for you is that, that you can create rules, boundaries, and limitations today. Right. Even though you have had a bad pass by you know sharing the wrong energy and not really being consistent your biggest thing is you're not consistent because you have the tools <laughs> let's try that yeah that that uh, shut her up <laughs> that means that, exactly. that man, <laughs> that man's coming back. <laughs> Caesar's coming. I'm watching you on TV. I, I've been doing this, this a lot, mm -hmm. and I've been trying to do the... Not, that's very fast. Yeah. There's, um, a, there's one firm sound, yeah. See, it creates excitement. Oh. Uh, I've been doing that. Yeah. <laughs> it have to come from here, not from here. Okay? okay. So this will be yelling. Ah! Stop it! See it? Hey. See, that comes from here. So ah. it, yeah, so it's different. Ah. <gasps> ah. Yeah. If I breathe in. Yeah. <gasps> ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> She's wagging. She's thinking yeah, this you, is... You represent <laughs> excitement. <laughs> Now, let me ask you, are you your dog's pack leader? What kind of energy do you project? Are you tense? Are you nervous? Are you fearful? Are you angry? Or are you calm and assertive? Now she's doing her thing. <laughs> of course, she went back to the energy. You still got, well, there we go, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good girl.